What's going on people? My name is Antoine. This is ATM Tech and welcome to the channel. So I recently uploaded a video on the Samsung Z Flip 3 and how you can basically turn it into a Game Boy XP. That video seemed to go down pretty well, but I did have a few people asking me how to do it and if I can put together a tutorial. So that is this video. Truth be told, if you don't know how to do any of this already, you're probably going to kick yourself because it's surprisingly easy. Now let's get into it. So there's basically two elements when it comes to emulating retro games. You have your emulator, which is a piece of software that allows you to play your retro game. In this case, it's literally an app you can download from the Play Store. The other elements are the games themselves, which are commonly referred to as ROMs. So you generally need to obtain each individual ROM for each game that you want to play. Now, there are a number of places you can download these ROMs online. However, don't ask me for any specifics because I'm not going to give you them. Strictly speaking, you should only run ROMs of games that you own the physical copies of. So whatever games you decide to play and wherever you download, download them from has nothing to do with me. Now that we've got that out of the way. So moving on to the actual tutorial, first thing you want to do is open up the Play Store and search for GBA emulator. So as you can see, quite a few options come up, but the one that I use is called My Boy. So we're going to go ahead and download that. So once you've got together all the ROMs that you want to play, you want to save them in a folder location in your phone, somewhere that's easy to find. You can download your ROMs on your computer and transfer them to your phone, or you can download them directly onto your phone. It's entirely up to you. With Game Boy Advance ROMs, it's important to make sure that the file extension ends in .gba. Anything other than this and the emulator just won't be able to run. So the next thing you want to do is find the My Boy app in your app drawer. Open it up and accept all the permissions. Now, one thing I do like about this emulator is it automatically scans and finds your ROMs for you. Not all emulators will do this for you, so that's why it's important to put them in a folder that you can find easily. All that's left is for you to go through your list and tap on the game that you want to play. And it's just that easy. Now there's a couple of things you can do to enhance your experience. So you can actually move the game screen up or down to find a position that suits you. As well as that, you can fully adjust the position of the on-screen buttons just to suit your hands. I have fairly large hands, so I do find it a bit easier just to move the buttons up a little bit. So this process is largely the same for majority of retro game emulators out there. And one great thing about the games from the Game Boy, SNES, Mega Drive era is the files themselves are really small, so you can actually store a ton on your phone. When you get to N64, PlayStation and upwards, the file sizes do start to get significantly larger. But anyway, I've showed you the basics, enough for you to go away and start gaming straight away. But if you do have any questions for me or if there is anything I've missed out, let me know in the comments down below. And if you did find this video helpful, then a like is always appreciated. But anyway, that's enough from me. My name is Antoine. This is ATM Tech and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.